Hello, YouTube Nation. Tuli's here from Tuli's Woodshed. About a month ago, I did a video uh, about my Mr. Tire infrared natural gas heater that I installed, and there it is. At that time, I was concerned about how it looked being so far away from the wall. Uh, I just thought it was a little bit of an eyesore, and I thought, you know what? I'll move it over here, just even with that pipe right there. Uh, maybe cut a foot and a half off the the width to the length, um, and maybe get it a little closer to the ceiling. Since then, I, I really, and I thank everybody for their input on it. I had a, a couple suggestions, but I want to say I've, I've rethought my <laughs> my my uh, decision on this. I think I'm going to leave it right where it's at, as you can see. Um, here's my garage. There's a TV there on the wall, my little workbench. I got my saws up there and my golf clubs over here. Uh, I spent a lot of time there and later at night I might, uh, might have a cocktail and sit in that chair there and quite frankly it warms me up perfectly. I, uh, I'm really, really happy with this. Again, it's a Mr. Heater brand, 40,000 BTU natural gas infrared heater. Uh, my garage here is just a little over a thousand square feet. Um, we've got a warm up here today in Wisconsin so I wash the vehicles and I got the doors open to uh, dry things out. Uh, <laughs> it's almost 40 degrees. It's like summer here for us in January. Anyway, um, what I used to use was this wall heater and I had a little LP tank and uh, it was a 30,000 BTU. Uh, quite frankly, the thing never worked very well. It does have a fan behind it, but I don't think we were getting 20,000 BTU. So what I would do is I would start my little torpedo heater right there up, put it underneath the workbench, warm things up, and uh, also start this one here on the wall. And after about 15 or 20 minutes of the torpedo um, heater were running it got you know mid 50s maybe low 60s in here depending on the weather outside and then this one here on the wall could maintain that temperature pretty pretty well for me um, but this garage like I say is just a little over a thousand square feet um, it's well insulated it's two by six construction and I have R38 in the, in the ceiling. So it doesn't take a lot. Once it gets warmed up, it stays pretty nice in here. Uh, if the temperature was zero outside and I didn't have my heater running, it still would be 20, 22, 24 degrees in here. So this heater ended up being ideal for me. Um, I had a company here in, in this town I live in come in and do the piping for me. He's a good friend of mine. They're steam fitters and they do fabrication and a lot of piping. So I know that everything was done to code here and I'm not worried about it. Again, the gap to the wall, I would have liked it to be a little less, uh, but it's not that bad. And, and quite frankly, I've gotten very accustomed to it. Um, I do spend a lot of time out here, uh, summertime, you know, practicing my golf swing. In the winter, I cut wood. Um, I just got done cutting yesterday, so I got the saws in here. I got to touch the chains up a little bit, clean the saws up, and get ready for tomorrow. Uh, anyway, I did want to say I'm very, very happy with this Mr. Heater uh, 40,000 BTU natural gas infrared heater. It's done a great job for me. Um, I find that because I got it aimed right where my the sitting area is here, it warms this area up right away. Uh, I, I can, it can be 50 degrees out here. I start that thing up when I'm in the outside here, working on my, my uh, shop, and it warms it up like in 15 minutes, uh, I'm turning it down. And I get it up to about 60, 62. I find that's probably a, a tad on the warm side for actually working on something out here. But if I'm sitting out here with a couple of friends, maybe enjoying a cocktail and a Packer game course that's over for this year, 
uh, uh, we like it 65, 60, 65, 66. So again, uh, I just want to let everybody see it. It's, uh, it's been a great addition. I wish, I wish I would have done this years ago. I, uh, I supported it there. It's like 30 inches from the ceiling and 30 inches from the wall on the back. So I did it to their specifications. Anyway, any comments, please uh, comment below in the comment section. I'll be, uh, I'll be uh, happy to hear from you and answer any questions about insulation or, or the effectiveness of this. Again, it's a vent free, and that's something I wanted. 40,000 BTU infrared natural gas heater. Thank you. Toodaloo.